Again, um, we've been working this area. We were just working with the reds. We were bringing the reds from the flowers into the foreground. Let's go ahead and add another uh, quick layer of fixative for this bottom area so that I can continue to work on here. And now what I want to do is I want to start bringing some of this green that we see in the background and on the wall that I also see up here in the foreground in the floral pattern of the piece of cloth. And so let's go back to our original light green and start adding some of that green in here around some of these roses that we had drawn in. And start establishing the green that's in this cloth pattern. Primarily working on the leaf structures. around these roses. Start bringing that color all together so that the painting has some unif unifying looks about it, as well as representing the pattern in the cloth. Notice that as I add this green, that what I'm actually doing also is refining the shapes of the roses because the green against the red is a complementary color. I'd like to talk about complementary colors and how that can help your painting create some uh, dynamics and brilliance.